Welcome back to 1200 hours, 16 October 44, Allied turn, turn 4 of 25, mud conditions in the daytime. So just to recap the weather, mud, visibility 1 kilometer, and tomorrow looks like being the same. In our first video, we managed to batter our way uh, into one hex along the German defensive line but it certainly wasn't uh, easy going so far we've lost 348 men and the Axis 355 so it's been uh, pretty close all up but still a long way to go you may recollect we've been beating these uh, fortifications along here up, but not seemingly to make much progress. So, I was thinking I might change tack a little bit and see if I can disrupt this guy here in particular to try and get some traction around to the rear of this position here. If I can take this one, I can then surround the victory location and then it's just a matter of time presuming we can hold that hex so without further ado let's uh, grab our artillery what artillery we have So a little bit surprising, these guys are in a clear hex and we're only getting five guys and basically that's what we're getting in the fortifications but I guess that's the effect of the mud where you don't get as much fragmentation, the shells tend to soak in more. Nonetheless, that will be our plan for the next few turns and see if we can uh, slowly but surely uh, capture this victory point. And slowly and surely is the British way, so you should always keep that in mind when playing as the British, I think. It may be incorrect, but we'll see how we go. It's sorely tempting to do a, an assault against this disrupted unit, which I'm sure we would uh, have a very good chance of being successful, but this is the hex that I want. Right, so with these guys here, I think I should keep the pressure up on this chap here. No effect. No effect. No effect. <laughs> Yeah, so it's somewhat status quo. So we'll put our engineers back to the fatigue levels are still quite good, but I 
If I can get our engineer in this hex here, he can assist in eventually assaulting this one. Oh, our crabs disrupt, which is a bit sad. They're fixed. Disrupted, disrupted, so always keen with my disrupted guys to move them back. Makes this hex here a little bit. Oh no, those two guys are pretty strong, although his um, fatigue rate is yellow, still acceptable, but something to keep a watch on. Once again. Just keeping a watch. I really would prefer to have my crab doing anti mining activity. So, do I. Where do you move him to? Have to move him all the way back over here. Okay, this guy here, I'm not sure whether to help out the Americans over here or to try and go for these minefields here. Perhaps I'll go for a 50-50 and move to there. Right, so... And I can't move one more hex. Uh, foot, clear, 12. Um, well, that's interesting. He's zero fatigue. Twelve. Elev no elevation change, is there? Zero to zero. So that's an interesting. I have to have a think about that one. Maybe it's moving into this uh, fortress cost or something. Or these abandoned fortification. Alright, we'll keep soldiering on. Low ammo, low ammo. Goodness me. Um, the fatigue's pretty mild. So all we can do really is Just try and build up this guy's fatigue at the moment. Our Americans, uh, I would prefer to get these go. Oh. So we'll move him back one. I'm down here. I do wonder because the supply obviously f for these Americans comes through this hex here, and with the minefield, does that disrupt the? Uh, flow of supplies. I mean, it can't improve it, you would think. So I must uh, do some research on that. Yeah, so this has got me... Bits. Okay, so all the rest of these units are fixed. So all these guys in the back here, I'm either putting them in the back for a rest or hopefully get them out of disruption. They're fixed. Right here, so do I? I think I need to keep this guy at least get try and stop you from getting any reinforcements. So as long as the enemy takes uh, some sort of losses or they fire, it means they can't get replacements. So it's a, a 
a bit of a slow and gradual uh, fatigue build up and try and break them down. I don't think we're going to have any Rommel style massive encirclements or anything like that. Right, that's the end of this turn. I don't have any aviation, artillery. Oh, yes, of course. Okay. Almost forgot my good old priest. Excellent. So that just, uh, as I say, it's all about building up that fatigue in these slog fests. These guys in here. So, once again, the concept of building up fatigue. That's that. So given the AI takes quite a while to work through the turn, I may cut this down and I'll give you a brief summary of what the enemy does just to try and squeeze in more turns in the video overall or perhaps just move the uh, to fast AI processing Engineer was successful. Three out of nine undisrupted. And these guys recovered losses, which is good. So turn five of twenty five, so we advanced at two PM. So not a lot has changed. So I think we'll continue our primary attack, which is against this guy here. That's all these ones. Oh, him. Um, yep. No. And him. So it's these three guys here with an emphasis on this chef here. 
he's disrupted I'd love to put an assault in this guy but then how do I reinforce this spot here because if I do an assault I'll probably end up with two units here one weak unit there and I can't move anyone directly in <laughs> to reinforce that spot which would leave this guy here vulnerable to being pinched off but maybe that would be hard for them as well right this one here he is problematic isn't he so I can't move from zone of control to zone of control so I need to build up some units in here Ooh, 135 is not great still not sure about this command okay. oh, he's still disrupted Let's just do the rest of the artillery. Engineer, what do I do with him? Right here, so let's Hey, this one's improved as opposed to a trench, so... We'll try and protect our engineer. Down south, we might as well finish our mission we started here. This was the original idea. But certainly I need to, in particular, get this square cleared. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Oops, this one. So that's a bit of good news that we have at least one disrupted. So a little win at last. So there, there. I've had a shot at him. Okay, so. So what to do with you know, this chap? I'm still keen on moving them back if they're disrupted.
So perhaps what we'll try is a attack on the next turn. So it'll be the last daylight turn. Although I'd prefer to have this guy disrupted. Jeez. Can't go from. Okay, I'll stay here. This guy still had it. All these guys are fixed. So that's about it. Oh, that's good news for us. We've had this chap down here doing good work and our engineer clearing mines here. So that is good, a bit of good news. Four units undisrupted or broken out of nine checked. Undisrupted, that is. So they're back in action. Ten recovered fatigue and seven recovered losses. And it's these recovery of losses which we're trying to deny the Germans by continually attacking and uh, trying to wear them down. Well I might take a little break and update my driver. So I'll be back shortly. Welcome back to 1600 hours 16th of October 1944 turn 6 of 25 mud conditions, visibility one kilometre and the AI has thrown us a curveball again. Uh, last time I mentioned we were setting up for a, a big attack on this 100 point victory location. Well our two units out front which were to be part of that assault and one of them was our important uh, engineer unit, the AI managed to disrupt them in the intervening turn so that's put a bit of a spanner in the works for us also this unit here which we've been hitting with artillery finally it's been disrupted now this is our last day turn so we need to consider if we were successful and take this square here How do we reinforce that square? Certainly if we can surround uh, the, the victory location here we're halfway home but because of the way the zones control are working here I really need to budge one of these outliers on the shoulder of the breakthrough. Fortunately oh, he's only got one low ammo unit there so what I am thinking 
I may have to try and push through with the armoured vehicles. Although he has an assault of 10 and the Churchill 9, so perhaps I'm better off leaving the Churchill to try and maintain that uh, route of supply open and use the infantry and the AVRE vehicle for an attack against this guy here. We could still entertain the idea of an assault on the 100 point location, but uh, he's not disrupted. And then we throw those two in as well. So we'd have 19 points there. Uh, 10, 19, and 38 there, so it would be a pretty good assault. Probably a good chance of success, but we'll take this one on. So I think that's what we'll I'll give a go anyway. So I'd like to I'll hit this one as well. Just to keep the pressure on him, I'm hoping to break this guy eventually. Unavailable. Right, so let's see how we go. Infantry and the AVRE. Okay. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> That's amazing. The AVRE, the one I was really depending on, managed to get itself disrupted. Well, that is incredible. Okay, well in that case, okay, let's right, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Right, so that is a four men for 36 and gaining the square is a pretty good result. Uh, potentially isolating this square. We have now run up across, well, another very good German vehicle, the, the uh, Jager Panzer IV. It has excellent anti-armor factors with 25 points at th range of 3 hexes. The weather of course uh, will negate that uh, range advantage but soft is 15 at 1 so still a formidable enemy for us to take care of and will be certainly a priority to put some artillery onto him to try and negate some of his uh, factors and increase his fatigue and disruption as quick as we can. Right, so we're really hoping our AVRE can hang on here. Uh, fatigue is 77 so he's still pretty good. So this chap here, he's really been a pain for us but there's not a lot we can do about it. Um, I guess as we're going into an evening turn, we could risk an assault uh, just to see if we could 
because we have the two turns overnight to recover from an assault so why don't we just give that a punt here and I think this one's more of a punt somehow the these uh, paratroopers seem pretty tough so wishes lucky oh I don't believe it well I'm very surprised by that they just seem totally uh, resistant to our attacks in the past well so that's a uh, a great result for us uh, to push him out of the way didn't disrupt him but we pushed him out of the way so do we get confident and have a punt here well this chap has to retreat or retire perhaps um, to get undisrupted well I think maybe we should have a as we have these night turns coming up I think we should probably take a risk here okay that's good okay Okay, 11 men, one vehicle, eight men. Well, that was another success. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised. I, I thought we would have been battling uh, to do that. They, but perhaps the artillery did wear them down sufficiently. Okay, so we can bring him up. Well, this puts us in a very good shape to have a shot at this 100-pointer a bit later. Now, I think all the other units around this area are fixed. Holy smoke, and even our uh, crab managed to get himself out of disruption. So he's pretty good, but what I'm going to try and do is, rather than sending him out now, I might send him out in the dusk or the night turn, uh, perhaps under the cover of uh, dim light he may be able to clear a mine for us and not get attacked but we'll see how that goes but certainly we're now in a much better position to have a go at that 88 but uh, similarly I'm sure they'll respond in kind so this is turning out to be a nice move so far so let's uh, use our sexton and our artillery here units here are in good nick and he's disrupted oh, our guy well no wonder the guy in the uh, minefield is disrupted because while he's in the minefield he doesn't get any replacements and all those issues so they tend to wear down quicker which makes sense but I think we're in a pretty good shape here to go for another assault so I think we'll definitely give him a go Well, another good result for us. I'm going to move my engineer up one. And I can move him in there the next turn. Get rid of that mine. Uh, important, obviously, to clear these roads. Because eventually we'll get these guys as uh, replacements or reinforcements. And they'll need to go down these roads so I'll need to we do need to look after these minefields meanwhile our Americans they're in pretty good shape too so they're uh, 
both are able to attack and we have a disrupted unit there wow he's still disrupted okay well oh, unavailable that's a shame sorely tempted to go for an overrun on this guy but we're just coming up to the night turn I'm just wondering do I want this guy this far around so maybe I'll just try an assault with whoops go whoops <laughs> we found another 88 oh the iron Sass division so they've been tough but not too bad a news here so hopefully we'll get our m10 back at some stage our sherman is safely parked amongst some rubble so should be reasonably safe from the 88 uh, and our infantry are probably going to cop something Meanwhile, our engineer who was doing some pretty good work for us. Um, we need to get him back around there. I think I should calculate it properly, but I think we should be able to travel by road here. Oh boy, not very far. So all up a excellent turn for us. Three successful one, two, three, four successful assaults. Right, here we go. Right, the dusk turn, 1 out of 10 out of command, so that's a good result. For artillery units unavailable. 3 undisrupted out of 11, wasn't so good. 10 recovered and 9 recovered losses. Okay, I think we can be reasonably satisfied with that result. So now we've moved on to... 1800 hours, the dusk turn. Right, so I thought I saw a disruption down here. Yep, I did. That's always the problem of going in there, is that you can't get out because of the zone of control issue. How's our M10 looking? Always oh, come back to us. That's a positive, so we might as well. Move him into the fray. Yeah, because soft is from one hex. And we can probably still oh, see only one hex given it's uh, the evening. Yep. Okay.
So this guy's going to need all his uh, bullets and beans just to hang in there overnight, I think. So we'll leave him there. Uh, so while I'm down amongst the Amy's, I'll... Our engineer will have a nice drive. So it's going to take a few turns to get around there, but we should be in good shape. Talking about Amy's, we'll grab our priest. Excellent. Okay, now, meanwhile, well, our three units here have come through in pretty good shape. So, this guy's even come through in pretty good shape. Okay, maybe I'll... get him out of there. Back with our engineer. I might get him to do that one. First, clear some mines. Now, I haven't put a lot of work into this guy, so I'm loath to try anything too exciting against him. It's almost too good to not try, isn't it? Okay, so what's our situation here? He's a uh, 7 on Assault, 7 on Assault, and 12. Okay, well, what I might do is, as soon as this guy's disrupted, we should put some artillery into him first. It would have been nice to have put some artillery into him. I suppose we could... Ah, oh, did not have... Now, if we win this hex, we could surround that other Einsatz unit there with the uh, purple and black triangles. Well, we are having a good run. So you have to be pretty happy with that, I would say. Geez, that poor old Churchill looking down the barrel of a Jagged Panzer IV wouldn't be too happy being there. I cannot imagine. Right, so... Well, they didn't fare very well. Did the job, but paid the price. So what I might do is this guy here, so... 181. I think he's definitely got a... Oh, it's going from zone of control to zone of control. So it won't let me retreat them. Okay, okay. Oh, 
<laughs> same with that one. So he can't go from there to there. Put some artillery into this guy and see if we can perhaps get a lucky uh, Should we hit? He's disrupted. He's disrupted. He's not, but that should be okay. These guys are in pretty good shape. We're increasingly looking in pretty good shape here, but so I think these guys here probably the ones with the most power that could cause this aggravation. Excellent. So that uh, protects this guy here. Starting to broaden now. Breakthrough area. One guy we can move forward. He's resting. I'll put him forward in the night turn for the mines. The rest of these guys are fixed. I'll give him one more night's rest. He can have a snooze. This guy should be in trouble. I'll keep his strength. I won't fire him. He's clearing mines. Headquarter can follow up. There we go. So, going into the evening of uh, 16th of October, I think we can be pretty happy with our progress. Don't think we had any arrived units or anything like that. So, let's soldier on. See what the AI tries. Excellent. So it's always good news to hear about these being cleared. Headquarters are in pretty good shape. It's not a very happy situation, but... Okay, so night time. Now the Brits like their beauty sleep. Ooh, not happy about those two being disrupted next to a... Jagged Panzer. Disrupted. Disrupted. So we're... Certainly showing some signs of wear and tear, but 
I think we're in good shape. Okay, so he can move to there. Okay, and available fixed. Unavailable. 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 Okay. Check our fixed units. Looks all the same. Right. Oh. This guy here. I'll sneak him out in the dark. Hopefully. Ooh, he, he might get away with it. Let's hope so. This engineer is still resting. Okay. It's disrupted. So the idea here is just to keep that guy awake. No sleeping over there. Dang. Can't do much about him. Now, Americans should be in reasonable shape. Obviously he's in a bit of trouble. So it's on the start of the midnight turn where they're checked for supply and fuel and all those issues so I'm hoping these guys are in headquarters range because I can't actually move the headquarters to get them in range so that might be interesting I might just give that guy one shot So that's it for our first night turn. So the core attachments turn are oh, 0 100 hours, yep. So I'm not sure whether the core attachments is normally the midnight turn, so maybe supply happens on the start of this turn. 
So anyone out of supply then is or cannot uh, trace a, a line to their headquarters, etc. You know they suffer all sorts of penalties. One undisrupted or unbroken unit out of twelve. Well, that's not good. Okay, so I'll have a quick look round. Then, oh, this is good. He's isolated, so same matter of time. Okay, so our machine gun has come good. Low ammo. Disrupted. So we certainly have uh, enough issues to keep us going. Uh, but we hopefully, if we can survive the next night turn without doing too much, uh, reducing our fatigue levels, we should be in pretty good shape, unfortunately. Oh, we've disrupted again. I really can't get these guys uh, happening for me at the moment, so I'll take them out. But okay, I was hoping to get up to turn 10 with this video, but I think I have probably reached the limit of my time. So thanks for watching. Uh, when we come back, we'll continue with turn 9 or 1 a.m. on the 17th of October 1944 and see how we push on. Certainly very good uh, last turn as seen as it makes some significant advances. Uh, starting to gain a bit of tactical ascendancy there on the main English front. The Americans have made good progress from the west. So I think we can look forward to a very interesting turn 9 and 10 next time. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.